The Cat in the Hat, Film. Stub class article from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia, at http colon slash slash en dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash the cat in the hat film. The Cat in the Hat is a 2003 American slapstick comedy film loosely based on the 1957 book of the same name by Dr. Seuss. It was produced by Brian Grazer and directed by Bo Welch and stars Mike Myers in the title role of The Cat in the Hat, and Dakota Fanning as Sally. Sally's brother, who is not named in the book, is known in this version as Conrad and played by Spencer Breslin. While the basic plot of the live-action adaptation of The Cat in the Hat revolves around that of the book, the film filled out its 82 minutes by adding new subplots and characters quite different from those of the original story, similar to how The Grinch Stole Christmas. Reviews were critically negative, criticizing the film's serious crude humor and mature content, and the film was nominated for eight Golden Raspberry Awards. Plot When Joan Walden is called back to work, she gets a sleepy babysitter to babysit her kids, Conrad and Sally. Conrad, a 12-year-old boy, has two problems. He is constantly doing the exact opposite of what he is supposed to do and causing trouble, and Sally, Conrad's seven-year-old little sister, tries to stop his troublemaking and is being rather bossy and perfect. Their next-door neighbor, Lawrence, Larry Quinn dreams of marrying Joan for her wealth, and sending Conrad away to a military school to straighten up his behavior. When Joan leaves, their babysitter, Mrs. Kwan, falls asleep. Not long after, it starts to rain outside and the children get bored. But then there is a thud somewhere in the house, and as the children go investigate, the cat in the hat appears. Once the cat introduces what he is there to do the fish starts talking, arguing about him being here. The cat ignores the fish and then starts balancing on a ball with other things then convinces Conrad and Sally to sign a contract which will allow them to have all the fun they want, and will stop anything bad happening. When they make cupcakes out of everything in the kitchen, the cupcakes explode causing a large, purple gooey mess. The cat tries to clean up the mess with Joan's dress, much to the horror of Conrad and Sally. The cat then brings in a large red crate, opens it, and releases thing one and thing two. Conrad is eager to open the crate, but the cat explains that the crate is a transport to his own world, and warns him not to open it and puts a lock on the crate. Conrad goes against the cat's rules and sneakily opens the crate. The lock ends up on his dog, Nevin's, collar. Thing 1 and Thing 2 then throw Nevin's out the window. Sally fusses over the state of the house, but the cat warns them that they have more important things to worry about. If they do not put the lock back on the crate, they will be in the middle of the mother of all messes. The trio puts the babysitter on the crate to buy some time and chase after Nevins. Meanwhile, Larry is revealed to be a disgusting, unemployed slob. He sees Nevins running through the street and seizes the opportunity to try to frame Conrad for being unable to take care of Nevins. Just as the TV he is watching is being repossessed by a trio of repo men. Larry grabs Nevins and heads for Joan's office. Conrad, Sally, and the cat manage to get Nevins back by catching up with a vehicle called the super luxurious omnidirectional watchamajigger, slow and drinking Larry into handing over Nevins and the crab lock by making him sign a petition about a zumzizaru with a large, oversized pen that requires two hands. While the things distract Joan and Larry, the trio get back home, unaware that the babysitter has fallen off the crate to answer a phone call from Joan and that all terror is breaking loose as the crate erupts. An obsessed Larry decides to run to the house and tells Joan to meet him there. When Larry catches the kids at the doorway and takes them to the house, the cat reappears. Larry stumbles backwards while sneezing, due to being allergic to cats only to fall from a high cliff into the cat's world, surprising the kids at what has become of the house, being the mother of all messes, just as the cat warned before. They finally find the grate, after passing trough the cat's world.
they successfully close it, and the house returns to normal, but then suddenly collapses. The kids berate the cat for not fixing things, despite that he was not responsible for the mess. He admits that he planned the entire day, so the kids order him to leave. Much to their surprise, he comes back with Thing 1 and Thing 2 and a cleaning machine called the Dynamic Industrial Renovating Tractor Majigger, Dirt. They clean up the mess, and the house is clean and put back together, much to the kids' relief. The cat and the thing then leave the house, just in time for Joan to come home. Mrs. Kwan wakes up and tells Joan that the children were angels, which she does not know anything that happened because she was sound asleep the whole time. But then Larry barges in, covered from head to toe with purple slime and starts telling Joan about the mess and the cat's world. Not believing Larry, as the house has already been cleaned, Joan declines his proposal of marriage and instead sends him away, much to Larry's sadness and Conrad and Sally's delight. The party goes as scheduled. At the party, Joan carries a tray of purple cupcakes, but Sally adds Mom, you can make cupcakes out of anything. The film ends with a treat of the cat and the things walking away on the street in the sunset while the Waldens jump on the living room couch with the party being over. Cast Mike Myers as the cat in the hat, a giant, anthropomorphic, wisecracking cat. His hat has many magical abilities. Alec Baldwin as Larry Quinn, the Walden's pompous next-door neighbor. He is determined to both marry Joan and get rid of Conrad by sending him to military school. Kelly Preston as Joan Walden, a real estate agent and Conrad and Sally's mother. Dakota Fanning as Sally Walden. Joan's dull and well-behaved daughter. Spencer Breslin as Conrad Walden, Joan's destructive and misbehaved son. Sean Hayes as Mr. Hank Humberflub, Joan's germophobic boss and the voice of the fish, the Walden's pet fish. Amy Hill as Mrs. Kwan, an elderly lady who's hired to watch the kids. Her weight serves as a running gag. Dan Castellaneta as the voices of Thing 1 and 2, two gibbering creatures the cat brings with him. Stephen Anthony Lawrence as Schweitzer. Paris Hilton as female clubgoer. Frank Welker as the voice of Nevins, the Walden's pet dog. Candace Brown as secretary, works for Humberflub. Victor Brandt as the narrator, who tells the story. Revealed to be the cat using a silly voice at the end. Duran Norris as announcer. Clint Howard as Kate the caterer. Tim Allen was originally planned to play the role of the cat, but dropped out at the last minute, since he was filming for the Santa Claus 2. Coincidentally, Spencer Breslin appeared in both the cat in the hat and the Santa Claus 2. Differences from the book in the film, at the start of the book, it is rainy outside. But, in the film, it is sunny, then it is rainy. In the book, all the things fall onto the floor. In the movie, the cat catches the things when they fall. In the book, the narrator in the words says, Mother's new gown. But, in the movie, Conrad and Sally yells, Mom's dress. When the cat gets the purple frosting off the wall with Mom's dress. At the end of the book, we see Conrad, Sally, their mom and the fish. At the end of the movie, the cat and things one and two walks to vacation in time. Reception, The Cat in the Hat received overwhelmingly negative reviews. Review aggregate website Rotten Tomatoes reports that 11% of critics gave the film a positive review out of 149 review, with the consensus statement being, filled with double entendres and potty humor, this cat falls flat. A characteristic evaluation was that of Tiber. writing in the Boston Globe, the big screen cat represents everything corrupt bloated, and wrong with mainstream Hollywood movies. However, the film did receive 16 positive reviews, one of them on the Washington Post. It also received an average grade of D from critics in the interpretation of Yahoo's film website. On Metacritic, the film has a score of 19100 based on 37 reviews. In its review on Common Sense Media, Nell Minow gave the film two stars and criticized the film's subplot. 
Manau said it was an iffy choice for ages 5-7 because it was too mature for kids who are reading a book due to its messages, violence, language, double entendres, Dr. Seuss tie-ins and joke references to drugs. In its review on IGN, Steve Head gave the film two stars and stated, Universal coughs up a swell-looking hairball. The film only managed to recoup $101 million of its $109 million budget domestically at the box office. However, an additional $32 million from foreign countries brought the film's total box office revenue to $133 million. The Cat in the Hat was nominated for eight Razzie Awards, including Worst Picture, Worst Actor, Worst Supporting Actor, Worst Supporting Actress, Worst Director, Worst Screenplay and Worst Screen Couple, winning one for Worst Excuse for an Actual Movie. As a result of the frequent mature themes, Audrey Stone Diamond Geisel, the widow of Theodore, Dr. Seuss Geisel, who holds the rights to his work, declared that there were to be no further live-action film adaptations based on the works of Dr. Seuss, arguing that the film has deviated from her late husband's family-friendly work. See also, List of films based on Dr. Seuss books. References. The following list the sources below. External links. Official website. The Cat in the Hat at the Internet Movie Database. The Cat in the Hat at Box Office Mojo. The Cat in the Hat at Rotten Tomatoes. The Cat in the Hat at Metal Critic. Categories. 2003 Films. English Language Films. American Films. Children's Fantasy Films. Directorial Debut Films. Dr. Seuss Films. DreamWorks Films. Films based on children's books. Films featuring anthropomorphic characters. Films set within one day. Imagine Entertainment Films. Universal Pictures Films.